Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. It is Tuesday, August 29th, um, 2017. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Simply Nisi. I am Denise Petaway, Simply Nisi. Um, thank you for subscribing to this channel, um, watching the previous videos. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Welcome <laughs> to all of my previous subscribers, my friends, my old friends. I thank you, thank you, thank you for just hanging out with me and just being a part um, of my reconstruction process. Um, if you're looking for some drama, you won't find it here. This isn't the place for you. Um, you'll get the real the bold, um, the inspirational, and the motivational here. But today, I'm going to go on a small rant. Um, and I'm going to show you something that I actually got before I go on my rant. So, um, I know I said I had some other things that I wanted to share. I'm definitely going to get a video up on that. Um, but I have a something special that I wanted to share that was gifted to me um, by my son. I got it last week. Um... Something I had been looking for, and it showed up, and I and I knew it was kind of coming, but uh, when I actually saw it, I was totally, totally, totally surprised. Um, it is my Brahmin 35th anniversary tassel. I am so, so, so excited. The color is patina. Um, it is beautiful, 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 and... Um, it has my initials engraved on the back. I am so, so, so excited about it. The hardware is phenomenal. It's not, it's lightweight, but it's not lightweight, if that makes sense. Um, there's gold hardware and gold trim. Um, it even says Brahmin on the lock, on the um, hook. And it's just a basic hook that hooks into your bag. Um, and it hangs nicely. Very, very, very nicely. Um, I had it on my bag until um, I took it off yesterday or the day before because I was feeling some type of way. And I'm about to explain that um, now. So, as you know, I received the um, Brahmin Large Duxbury Satchel for my birthday. I'm just getting emotional just talking about it because I'm so bad, y'all. Um, and toasted almond. A large... Duxbury Satchel in Toasted Almond, Melbourne. I'm sorry. Um, it, it is exclusive to Dillard's um, and also to Brahmin. Um, I went in, picked this bag for myself. My husband purchased it as a birthday present. And I um, was in love. I've been stalking this bag forever. And then um, I got home and I noticed a few things. Even though I didn't say anything. I just, you know, I just thought that... Um, it would change over time. It is my first Italian leather bag. So um, that was also something that I felt that was, you know, making it unique. And it is, but I just, I'm hurt. I'm just so hurt. So I have about yesterday, I went to Dillard's, went back to Dillard's, took everything out. Went back to Dillard's and um, wanted to express my concerns because I don't know if you can see it here. It's a little spot in there. That's a nick. It's a little spot. There's no fabric in there. Um, and then there's a couple of spots in there. And I thought it was a part, you know, of the coloring of the bag. And upon further inspection, that's not so. Um, I know Italian leathers, leathers are soft. I know um, everything isn't stiff. But I played with a Brahmin handbag or two. And I know one fresh out the bag shouldn't be as soft as this and have the issues that this one has. Um, so I took it back because my medallion fob was stretched from day one. Um, key, uh, hang tag um, loop was stretched from day one. Um, 
that irks me. Um, just like I said, this little spot here. And I notice little things about the sides. When I pick it up, when I want go to carry it as a shoulder strap, shoulder strap, the top just totally converts to something that's not very pretty. Um, I don't carry a lot because I can't. You see how it buckles and how it scrunches up? So just imagine what that looks like across the top. Um, upset. Highly upset. My zipper is what gets me the most. Um because it's waving so i took the bag back to dillard's yesterday and um the sales associate there um sweet little lady but when you spend the amount of money for these bags that we do we're paying, we want it to be perfect. We want it to be in love. And I'm just not in love with my bag anymore. I didn't want my money back. I just wanted a different, another bag, the same bag. I just didn't want it to be like this. I've been told many, many times this bag is defective. That, I mean, it's just so much happening. Look at this. That's a wave in there. And it's been like that since I had it. Even before I started putting my cell phone in it. And y'all, I'm just... And then she told me, you know, maybe it's the way I pack it. Put my smaller, my heavier things in the bottom and things like that. Stuff my corners and stuff like I'm just, I. It's a beautiful bag. And I love the medallion placement. I do. I really, really do. And it has a spot in the middle of it, too. But I'm just convinced that even when I opened the bag, when the manager sold me the bag, I was convinced at that point that this bag had been used. Um, and it's hurtful, y'all. I mean, I'm just so hurt. I don't understand. So, um, instead of giving me a new bag, because I had my receipt and my tags of proof of purchase and the stuffings, the bag still looks new on the inside. The only thing is I've conditioned the bag. She tells me to condition the, air, the area around the zipper. I've conditioned this bag three times since August 10th. That's not going to change the condition of the zipper. Um, there were loose threads on my handles. Um, even though it is sealed... It's sealed. It's sealed really, really good. Um, on both sides, she, the threads that were loose that I showed her, she clipped them. Um, I didn't ask her to do that. Um, I'm just... I don't know if it's my fault or if it's Dillard's fault or if it's Brahmin's fault. I've reached out to Brom and contacted their customer service in an email. They told me to get last night since they're um, since they were closed. I wasn't going to get any sleep if I didn't at least email. So I'm waiting on a response from them. Um, I just want to love my handbag, and this is my very first experience with them, and it's not a very positive one. Um, this was a birthday gift to me. And it's something that I asked for. And if we're going to pay $300, $295 for a bag, um, I wanted to do what I needed to do. I didn't pay or my husband didn't pay for defects or anything like that. So this is the episode one of um, my Dillard fiasco. I have my bag and my stuff in and my proof of purchase so this morning will be trip number two back to Dillard's she told me to come back next week when the manager is back because he's on vacation um, I used to work for them and any manager can handle that so a um, little disappointed especially after she informed me that she sold Brahmin for over 20 years and that she has one and hers waves like that. And, you know, what can we do? I am not going to settle. I am not going to settle. I am not going to settle. 
I am going to go back this morning and speak to someone different. And we're going to get some results. I love this toasted almond. I do. I do, I do, I do. But if they do not have another toasted almond with this medallion placement, then I'll be picking another color. And the patina looked okay with my <laughs> with my bag. But um episode one. Y'all stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. Have a blessed and amazing day. Love y'all.